So we've been married 34 years and he'll say 17 of the best years of his life. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody laughs. And she everybody hates laughs. Saying, and even you said it. They I, don't, I don't hate it, but I, I, I think it's a funny joke, but yeah. it's not kind of really a joke. Cause probably maybe it's more than 17 years, but there's been really hard times where you like wonder like, what did I do? Making marriage work. That's what Julie and David Bullitt are in the business of doing. Well, we had a blast with a couple when they came to visit us in Historic Studio D to share about their book, The Five Core Conversations for Couples. That book came out about a year and a half ago. The pages are filled with honesty and real life experiences the couple has gone through in their more than 30 years of marriage. Some good, some bad. The goal is to give couples a fresh perspective on their own relationships and the space to talk about what's important. Delmarva Life's Katie Zerilli sat down with the authors at Bethany Beach Books to dig deeper into their story. Julie and David Bullitt met in college. She had marriage in mind from the get-go and he didn't. I sort of was like, you know, in my, you know, marriage material list checking off boxes and sort of thought, okay, this could be somebody you know, that I spend You're looking long, long term. term, right? So that's my take on it. My boxes were a lot shorter term, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and she, well, she's saying love at first sight. I had an L word too, but it was L-U-S-T at first sight. They eventually did end up tying the knot and have now been married for more than 30 years. The lessons they learned and life they experienced, they believe is of worth to couples of all kinds especially those who are perhaps feeling the pressure to be perfect. I think people are embarrassed might not be the right word, but, but hesitant because they think that they're different mm -hmm. or they think that our relationship is, is failing because, and it's not like theirs. And then mm -hmm. when you see, you know, I mean, on, from the outside looking in, you know, he's a lawyer, she's a, a social worker, a therapist, How, what, can, what problems can they have? So we really felt that sharing the problems and sharing them honestly mm -hmm. would help. And so that's what they did. The idea came to them while they were sitting together talking on the beach one day. Why not write a book? David was, was already a published a author. Julie, might feel not so much. But they made it work because they had much to say. I am much more of the creative ideas person and I would have an idea or a story or remember something and I would write it down in this awful email with like Single no space, no punctuation. Yeah, no punctuation, no spaces, <laughs> everything spelled wrong and I'd send it to him. I get these emails like, what am I supposed to do with <laughs> this? Okay, everything's lowercase. Yeah. There's no comps. Sorry. There's no period. It's but like, you always fix but we, it. But you know what? But it after worked. a while, it worked. and it worked. Yeah. And out came the five core conversations for couples on Valentine's Day of 2020. It's a book that not only encourages couples to make space for what matters. The two ingredients in a, in a relationship are communication and connection. And if you have those two, you can really get through most anything. Yeah, no, I think that's, I think it's true. And, and remembering that you may not communicate the same way that he does, mm -hmm. right? Or he may not communicate the same way you do. So, so like she likes to be upfront about certain, and I'm like, okay, well, I need a, some time. I need to pull back. And she recognizes mm -hmm. that. So, mm -hmm. you know, I think, that, I think that's true and understanding what the other, how the other person comes to it. But also openly and honestly shares some of their real life stories. The memories that don't make it onto the family Christmas card, like their difficulties with their third daughter, whom they adopted. She's disconnected from the rest of the family. Yeah. And, um, has her own issues and addictions and so forth now. But, but, yep. but we were able to work our way through it and, and, and protect our other kids, yeah. I think, to, the, to a great extent. And that is really what prompted us to write the book, because we wanted other people to know that being married and being in a relationship is really hard and that it's not going to just be, you know, all, you know, great things. Um, and both what David sees in his office, you know, people coming to end their marriages and people coming to my office to keep their marriages and relationships going, we wanted people to know that it's okay if there's issues. Oh, yeah. By the way, he's a divorce lawyer and she's a family therapist. Interesting intersection, right? Provides a heck of a lot of perspective we really open up. So we have our own perspective as professionals yes. and we have our own personal mm -hmm. lives that we live through. And there's a lot of, you know, layering of mm -hmm. that in, in the book. So much to our kids' chagrin, yes. by the way, 
who my, one of my daughters looked at me and said, I can't read anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, no, no, we, 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 talk, we talk about hard things. We talk about finances, which is sometimes a difficult topic. And of course, sex is, you know, difficult topic. Yep. And we, you know, try to tackle lots of different things in the book that, that couples go through and may not be comfortable talking about. And they do so not in a how-to manner, more of a been there, done that, don't make the same mistake kind of thing. When I turned 40, he bought me a beautiful mint green convertible, T-Bird convertible. And it was great and we loved it and it was so fun to drive around. And then we found ourselves in a bad situation where we were having trouble paying our bills. And he looked at me and I looked at him and I said, as much as I love that car, I said, it's, it's an extra car at this point and we need to scale back. And we went on, we, we towed it away and she waved. Yeah, and we away. sold it. A book that invites its readers to live authentically imperfect and do so with confidence. The sooner you realize that nothing is perfect and you don't have control over everything, the better off you're going to be. And everybody's map isn't the same, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's everybody's guideposts aren't yeah. the same. Yep. What's successful for us might not be successful for you, or might, what, what works for in your relationship might not work yeah. in mine. And what yep. we like to do, so so everybody's different. Yeah. Julie and David are having a book signing here at Bethany Beach Books on August seventh, so you can come pick up your copy, meet them, and chat. If you read about something that you know about, mm -hmm. you know, like a story was written about your hometown, yeah. you're really interested in that. Yeah. So when you meet someone and talk to them, whether it's for two minutes yeah. or five minutes or ten minutes, and you start reading reading what they wrote, you feel more connected, I think. So it's the connection, Katie. Mm -hmm. The connection, Katie. Yeah. The connection that might just make a monumental difference for couples.